So season one, Diablo 4, the season of the malignant. Many things have changed in regards to XP, how it's earned, how much you earn, and the best dungeons due to Nightmare Dungeons rotating. Today guys, I bring you some of the best dungeons you can farm. Five of the best in my opinion for most XP. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, with season one, we have seen the rotation of Nightmare Dungeons. Uh, some of the better dungeons now are not available in that Nightmare version, meaning you can't earn as much XP. Also with season one, actually, I think it's the 1.1.0 patch, or was it a hotfix just after that? They increased the density of enemies and elites inside of Nightmare Dungeons too. So there's even more XP to be earned here. So yes. Okay, so... There's five dungeons I want to speak about today, five of the best in my opinion, and in my opinion, we should start with the first. No point in saving the best till last, we may as well start with the first. The best dungeon, in my opinion, to farm in this game with that nightmare uh, dungeon mode, that version, is Order's Cave. So Order's Cave is located right here on the map. This thing is incredible and the best thing about it as well guys is it's just so straightforward to run. You don't really come back on yourself and that's been a fan favourite way before season 1 uh, but it's just the best in my opinion right now. So it consists of beasts and bandits too so there's no boss in here either so yeah it's quite easy you ain't got to worry about a boss you still get all the xp especially for that glyph too so the first objective within here is to destroy barricades there's three of these that need to be destroyed once you've done these guys you then just have to go on to uh, slay or enemies within the bandit hideout just slay all enemies earn the xp and then you're good and then you just take out the ring leader and then guys the dungeon's done rinse and repeat this one if you've got that nightmare version of it the best in my opinion by far in the game right now Okay, so next up, guys, we've got Seret's Lair. Now, this, to me, I know it's a, a big call, but I'm going to call this uh, Blind Burrows 2.0. This thing is crazy. The amount of spiders within here is utterly unreal. Now, it's located right here on the map. It's not one I've seen many, many folks speak about or cover, but I definitely feel this one will pick up and you'll start to see more and more people covering this thing. So basically all you got to do guys is destroy three silken spires within the first part of this and then go on to defeat the boss. I think his name's Surat. Well, it makes sense his name's Surat. But yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty, I would say it's, it's it looks like when you, when you complete it, it looks like an actual spider web. Uh, well, kind of like a spider web, but it does all, plenty of different paths you can do. Uh, but I do definitely recommend you clear out the entire thing just for that xp and those xp gains but yes yeah, so it's there is an incredible xp farm if you got that nightmare version of it next up guys we have the mercy's reach dungeon now this is a dungeon i covered probably about a week before season one it could actually be an after i can't no, i think it was before season one I had another idiot YouTuber try and call me out for this farm, even though he posted it, farmed it completely wrong and backwards. He got called out for it in his own comment section. It was hilarious. I spoke to him on Twitter, tried to claim he didn't know who I was, tried to insult me, then backtracked himself into a corner, then blocked me like a little girl. But I understand people, when times are hard on YouTube, when views start to drop, a lot of people will start to attack and try and cause drama with bigger creators to try and earn a little bit of clout. But well, enough of that. But yeah, Mercy's Reach is an incredible dungeon. There's two rooms specifically in here that are absolutely filled with elites. Come here, the first objective is to slay three night hunters. These will be elites also. Um, I normally, when I run this, I do just run straight to the elites and then run straight to the uh, second two rooms we'll talk about in a second. But if you're doing a nightmare version of this, you may as well take out all of those ads and earn that XP. So yes, the first part is to slay three uh, night hunters. These will be elites. Then the second part, guys, is to return the mechanical boxes to the pedestals. There's two of these, one in a different room. These two rooms are crammed, and I mean crammed full of those elites it's unreal guys after this guys you then hold, go on to defeat the tomb lord boss and then the dungeon is done but it's definitely one of the better ones in the game as of right now in my opinion and i'm pretty sure as well guys that they did announce within the the stream the, for the 1.1.1 1. 1. 1, they're going to increase further more enemies within dungeons so these places that i'm covering today are only going to get even better 
So yes, Mercy's Reach, so it's there. All this cave, what we've covered so far, will just get better. Next up, guys, we have Dead Man's Dredge. Now, the Dead Man's Dredge is again another incredible dungeon. This one is located right here on the map. Uh, monsters, it contains vampires and werewolves. This place doesn't have a boss, so it's one of those ones. You just earn that XP by killing those enemies. No boss you need to take out for that glyph and just go do this thing, guys. Okay, so it's located right here on the map within Fractured Peaks. The first part is to collect Onimus from the uh, carriers. This I mean, it can be a little tedious here and there. It's one of the ones I least like to do. But when it's a dungeon that offers as much XP as this one, we just get to it, guys. The second part of this place is to free the prisoners. Now, there's seven prisoners in total. Is there six or seven? Yes, I think there's seven here. Um, but they're just protected by so many ads. Uh, it's just crazy. Now, this is a straightforward dungeon. I mean, there's not too much to it. You just run like basically like almost a straight line there's a circle and then you move on it's in my opinion it's definitely 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 one of the easy ones to run that i'm covering today so make sure you uh, think about that once you've freed the seven prisoners you then go on to slay the alpha and then guys this dungeon is completed and that's basically it so yes if you get a nightmare version of the dead man's dredge make sure you go on and do this obviously if it's got the right uh, rules on it for you too if you can get magic find on any of these dungeons that's perfect because you get increased loot drops as well if you're trying to make that gold that's where you get that gold from but yes the dead man's dredge another great great dungeon to run Lastly, guys, we're going to talk about the Hawfrost Demise. Now, the Hawfrost Demise, people may know about. This was a dungeon associated with a kind of like a glitch you could do from a quest line where you could actually run a different version of this place and it was even more crammed full of enemies. Uh, this one isn't quite as good as that. Well, it's actually, you know what, guys, it probably is now. Now they've added more so uh, enemies into these dungeons. It probably is as good as that right now. So it's located right here on the map within Fraction Peaks. Uh, enemies within here, we have Goldman and Skeletons, and it does have a boss. We just call him the Abomination, but it's quite straightforward to take out. But the first objective within here, you have to destroy the skeletal constructs. There's three of these, and then guys, you just simply go on to the boss. It is another great, great dungeon to run just for the layout of it. You barely go back on yourself, uh, but yes. It's absolutely incredible. Now, what I will say as well is all these can be run. I run them solo. Absolutely perfect for solo players. But if you are in a team too, it just makes things way, way easier. So keep that in mind also. But yes, guys, a whole frost demise. Nightmare version of this thing. Go get it. It's absolutely incredible. So yes, those are the five dungeons I recommend to you guys that you should be farming for those XP gains. Alder's Cave, Soret's Alea, Mercy's Reach, Dead Man's Dredge, and the Hall Frost Demise. Now, usually I'd bring you individual videos on these, but I'm just past that point now. I'd rather just bring you a compilation of the best XP farms. Uh, just no point just spamming out videos anymore. But hey, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps me out. If you found a farm which you think should be showcased, hit me up on my Discord or Twitter, both are linked down below. Uh, again, if you enjoyed this video and you're new around here, make sure you sub, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.